Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to go over why drinking alcohol while taking metronidazole, an antibiotic, is a very bad idea and why people feel like crap when they do so. So quickly, let's go over alcohol metabolism. Ethanol is what's in uh, our alcoholic beverages. It's also used in hand sanitizer to kill COVID-19, which is crazy, go figure. Ethanol gets broken down into acid aldehyde. Acid aldehyde, and these arrows represent enzymes. Acid aldehyde then gets broken down into acetate. And then acetate can basically get used uh, to produce energy in our cells. But the big enzyme we're going to be working on in this video is over here. And it's what's responsible for breaking down acid aldehyde into acetate. And it is called aldehyde dehydrogenase. And it's a very cool enzyme. This is all done in your liver. And it's responsible for breaking down acid, acid aldehyde into acetate. Well, what's important with this enzyme and why we're emphasizing it in this video is it's actually not ethanol that makes you feel like crap. It's acid aldehyde that makes you feel like crap. It's toxic. It's highly toxic, right? Everyone knows this who's had a hangover or seen someone with a hangover, right? Nausea, vomiting, headache. You know, we talked about it in one of my other videos, the fear. That's a little different, but it can partially be related to that. The headache also can just be from the fact that alcohol is a diuretic. So you just your, your brain literally doesn't float as well as it normally does because of how much fluid you lose. But why this is important, you guys, aldehyde dehydrogenase is the enzyme that is responsible for taking a toxic metabolite and converting it into something that's not toxic for your body. So it's a great enzyme. It's found in your liver. Well, what's interesting, there are some people, there is a medication called uh, disulfiram or antabuse, which some people, and I have seen them in the clinic, they are actually court ordered to take this if they've had multiple DUIs. Disulfiram. Antabuse is its uh, brand name. And what this does is this medication is used to deter people from alcohol, right? It helps with alcoholism. Well, what it does is it goes over here and it puts a break on aldehyde dehydrogenase. Well, if you can't break down acid aldehyde into acetate, you're going to have an increased buildup of the toxic metabolite, right? So obviously you're not going to want to drink because you're going to feel like absolute crap. That's what antabuse does. Well, it turns out metronidazole actually works in a similar manner uh, in that it is a disulfiram-like reaction. It actually works by inhibiting this enzyme as well. So people who are taking metronidazole for like giardia or uh, a lot of people take it for like diverticulitis, a lot of women take it for uh, like bacterial vaginosis. It's actually found in a gel form. It's a very common medication. It's a cool antibiotic. But one of the side effects is it does work on this enzyme. So you're just going to have a toxic buildup of acid aldehyde if you drink on it and basically feel like crap because it's not ethanol that makes you feel like garbage. It's the acid aldehyde. And notice how it's part of this step right here. Um, that you got to break this down into acetate, which is uh, not as harmful. So it basically works in a similar mechanism as antabuse, which is what they give for alcoholism. Uh, some people literally are court ordered to take it. Um, it's pretty crazy. I haven't seen too many patients take it, but um, I have seen enough. So you guys, that's quickly alcohol metabolism in a nutshell in your liver and why metronidazole is a bad idea. Uh, it's a bad idea to drink alcohol if you're taking metronidazole uh, at the same time. All right, guys, have a good one. Bye.